Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. Now, one of the key sponsors of this event, of course, is PwC, which is, provides professional services around the world with accountancy, auditing. And, of course, one of the key players for AI is with me right now, and it's Anand Rao. You're the global AI lead for the company. Um, you've been taking part in some panel discussions um, today and tomorrow. You've been with this event since it started three years ago. Why? Uh, this is something that's very important to the uh, the vision of the firm, and we are very much about engendering trust uh, with our clients, with the overall public. So when it comes to that, uh, AI is one of those areas where there are obviously lots of opportunities, but there are a lot of risks as well. So we are essentially advocating a more responsible way of implementing AI. Uh, for our businesses, but then more broadly uh, around some of the societal issues as well. We are very concerned and want to help with the AI. When you say you're concerned, what are you concerned about? So there are a number of things that are happening in, in AI. So some of the concerns or risks of AI include, uh, if you like, bias and fairness. So that's one aspect of it. The second aspect of it is we are building some of these models. Some of these models are very complex. Now, how can you explain what the model is doing, what the AI is doing to various stakeholders? So it might be an end consumer, uh, it might be a regulator, it might be a business executive who doesn't really understand the details. So how do you actually uh, interpret the, the results? And then there are some safety, security concerns about data, privacy, and so on, specifically with respect to AI. So we look at all of those, and how do you actually govern AI? So people know well as to how do they govern data, uh, which over the past couple of decades, people have got a good sense of how to govern data. But now this is very new in terms of machine learning models, which are different to some of the algorithms that people have been used to. I think also, you know, if we're here at the UN, it's because they want AI to be a force for good for the sustainable development goals. Does that fit into your objectives? Yes, very much so. So one of the things that we have been very much involved when we talk about artificial intelligence is not just businesses, but governments. Uh, there are more than 30 plus governments, so national governments, implementing AI strategies. So when they implement AI strategy, uh, again, in most cases, they have to be educated as well. So it is the governments, the ministries have to be educated on what is innovation, how can they promote innovation, how can they promote skilling, reskilling of the people. Again, that goes very much to the nature of work and some of the SDG goals we have. Uh, promote fairness of their citizens, of the different gender equality, ethnicity, all of those things are things that they are wanting to promote now with AI, um, some of the biases that we have as a society could be embedded into those AI. So we want to make sure that they're all taking the right approach. So in that sense, working with governments, we have been tackling some of those issues. That's why it's sort of the UN being the, obviously the body which sort of combines all of those is of very much of interest. And we have been participating in other forums as well, uh, specifically on these issues. Now, PwC obviously is a worldwide company. It's a global footprint everywhere. Uh, how Do you use AI in different ways across the globe, or is it the same approach everywhere? Uh, that's an interesting question. So in terms of the adoption of AI, it's definitely at different paces in different parts of the world. But in terms of the actual framework, the ethical guidelines, principles, uh, we are adopting uh, essentially a global uh, standard if you like, and the project that we have been doing is very much a responsible AI framework and toolkit that's very much global. Around seven countries and multiple regions have been working on it uh, so that we can bring in perspectives from the different countries. So I think that's very critical, again, as we think about AI. Um, again, one of the dangers of AI is if you just have one group doing it, then all of those biases get built in. So this is probably very uh, designed to bring in a lot of other countries as well. And one final question, what, um, AI, one of the great fears and part of, you know, we're trying to overcome that with the summit, it could be a job killer. What's your view on that, especially with your PwC hat on? Uh, yes, I think uh, that there are a number of things that, uh, uh, that AI will be doing. 
Uh, there will be some cases where if the job is very repetitive, uh, those will be automated. But there is a difference between tasks getting automated and jobs getting automated. So we believe that there's going to be a substantial proportion of tasks that will be automated, but not necessarily all jobs will go away. So that's one, one aspect to the job losses. The second aspect is the way we are uh, looking at it, AI will actually augment human beings as opposed to necessarily replace them. There'll be some jobs that will be replaced, right? So where, where it is sort of more uh, repetitive, but all the others are likely to be more augmented. And the third aspect to this whole uh, issue around automation and job loss is how do you reskill uh, the, the workforce? Is the workforce as well as getting new skills at the university level, at the, at the education, primary high school education as well. So governments have started looking at all of those three layers, and that's something that obviously we are very interested in promoting as well. Okay, well that was Anand Rao from PwC. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.